Hey guys, uh, this is Lei from Goldfish Corner. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how to call goldfish. As you know, uh, today is about 18 days from my blue egg phoenix goldfish hatched. Perfect time for the first round of call. Um, so before that, I'm gonna talk about the equipment you're gonna need. All right, so let's see. First of all, this is called an observer box. Uh, very simple, I just have a storage box, shoe box. And you can see it already has some cute little baby fish here. And uh, but little tip, you need a white background because the little fish is black shape. So black shape in the white background is very easy to tell the shape, okay? And the second one, we need a, a keeper uh, uh, tank. So the keeper tank is also very simple. I also get a storage tank with wider face. So you get more oxygen for the keeper tank. And and then and then this is a call box. I just use the red color. Should, uh, tell this is a call. This is not something what we need. Okay. In terms of other equipment, uh, you you probably need a um, height light in case you need a stronger light to tell the shape. Uh, I also sometimes need a soup spoon, but make sure you have the white background soup spoon so it's kind of easy to tell the shape of the fish. Uh, you also need a, this one's a little cube, so I need a round curl uh, net. I got it from Amazon, which is not very popular in US because most of the fishing net is the square shape. And uh, I also need this big square fish net to get all the little baby fish from my breeder tank to the observer tank. And last but not least, you probably need a little bit of sticky notes. Uh, post-it notes on both sides this is a perfect opportunity uh, use the pen to track uh, how many fish you actually uh, either keep or total fish that hatched all right with that uh, I'm gonna talk about today's goal so this is the first round of calling and today I only look at the back so I look at the back of the fish make sure the back is a street so I only most time I'm gonna use the top view of the fish uh, for the second round I may need a uh, the side view but for today I'm going to pick some the back is not straight or the curved back all right now I'm gonna do the work um, I also want to introduce my son Kason is back now he's helping me hey Kason do you want to say hi to everyone hey everyone I'm Kason the videographer and I hope you enjoy this video okay let's do the work okay now first of all I think today's light is good so I just needed this like a backup uh, tool all right, I'm gonna start calling. And uh, let's see, this one, so this one is not straight back, so this one is call. Okay, and put it back a little bit, so this is one. Uh, I think this one is actually pretty good. So this is, this is the keeper. This one looks keeper too. This one looks like a keeper. This one looks keeper. Let's see. This one looks like a keeper. Uh, this one's a keeper. This one is cool. His, uh, his tail is not symmetric. His tail fin is actually tilted to one side. Can you see this? His tail fin. His tail fin is, is, is bended. So this one, I don't need that. This one, the tail fin is, is, is not extended. You see the tail fin is not, not extended. This one is gone. So it's through. So, how many calls and keepers do we have? Yeah, so this is nine, I think this is, this is seven. So seven, nine, we'll make it both as ten. So this is eight, eight keeper. This is nine, this is nine. So today is pretty hard to tell whether it's a three lobe or four lobe. I only checked the back, so this is ten now. 
a little keeper, okay? Now we've got a 10 keeper for both sides, okay? So this is uh, a 10. Okay, so I think I gotta continue to do this uh, little bit of routine work. I'll show you the result in a, in a few minutes. All right, guys, see you later. Uh, I think I'm almost halfway. Uh, everything's pretty good practice. This is a call. I think I'm about uh, 200 fish that uh, consider as calls. And this is the observer tank. This is going to be the tank ready for pick up and select it. And this is the keeper. You know, you can see it's not too many keepers. The Blue Act Phoenix, um, the call versus keeper ratio is pretty high. So. And I'm working from the morning, but I haven't finished up. Look at that. It's about 4.20. Well, I spend uh, in the middle of the day with my family. I watched the Wandering Earth movie, so I kind of stopped calling. Um, but uh, it was a great time spending with my family. Now I'm back to work to uh, call the rest of the fish. And uh, as I said, go to fish is not all about your life. You make sure you spend valuable time with your family too. Now. I'm back to work. All right, uh, Casey, just keep updated. Uh, we'll show you later on. So keep updated. I'm gonna do some example calling. Okay, so this one has a very bad tail. You can see a very bad tail. All the tail fin all put together, right? That's a no brainer. It's gone. Okay, now fix the other one. Uh, I think it blocks sunlight, Casey. Could you move up a little bit? Uh, this one, perfect example. Let's see this one. Uh, let me get it. Actually, no, hold on. Cut it. Oh, this one. This one, the back, if you look at it carefully, the back is not straight. You agree? Yes. Okay. Second gun, second call. Mm. This one, the back is curved the back. Hold on, right here. Right here. See the curve back? You see that? Number three. Okay. Number four, right here, curve the back. Number four, I need the last one. So every five calls, I make uh, this is number five. Again, this one is all the thing, it's not symmetrical. All right, so every five calls, I make a, a track. So I roughly know how many how many calls I get it. And the other tip is, so every time I use a big fish net to bring the fish into the observer tank, into the observer tank, and uh, you always want to start call first because it's easy to find a defeat fish. So always start with call first and then do the keeper, not vice versa. This is a tip for me. I always easy to find. Um, the call first. All right, Kason. All right, I'll see you a little bit after I finish this project. Hey guys, uh, this is Lei. Uh, come back. So after three hours hard work, finally I separate my total of 570 um, baby fries into 250 keepers and 320 calls. Uh, it's about three hours of work. I'm working from beginning. From the day to now, it's about 11.45. So in the middle of the day, we watch the movie, Wandering Earth. We also have the lunch and dinner and come back to work. Uh, thank you for my family to understand my work. Um, but I got a lot of questions from my YouTube subscribers saying, what typical fish I gonna call? So I'm gonna ask my videographer to come closer to me, and I'm gonna show three typical fish that I gonna call for the first round, uh, I actually put on the three uh, cups. First one, you can see the body is a cranked body. Okay, if from top, it's not straight back. It's cranked body. Sorry, this is not gonna uh, survive, okay? This is gone. And this one is interesting. If you look at the body, it had a straight back, but the tail is not symmetrical. It's on one side of the body. So this one is gone. So the third one, which is interesting. So the third one, everything's fine, straight body, uh, very 
very good back, but if you look at the tail fin, all the tail fins are actually clamped. So this one is also considered as a cause. At this moment, I'm not able to tell whether it's a three-lobed fin or four-lobed fin, whether it's three-lobed fin or four-lobed fin. So I will gonna wait another two or three weeks. I'm gonna do the second round. For that round, I'm gonna focus on the tail, whether it's split tail or fixed tail. I'm gonna only keep the split tail. And uh, well, that's it. So let's look at the number again. I got a total 570 fish total. I have 250 keepers. I have 320 calls. So roughly ratio about 40 keepers. Uh, definitely, if you look at keepers in this tank, I don't think I'm very rigorous uh, to do my role, but definitely there are going to be a lot of fish going to be called for the second round. I guys, also want to share one tip for you to how to set up the free tank. For free tank, one thing you notice the water level is pretty low. I typically keep five under five centimeter or two inches. Uh, easy rule is to use your three fingers. So it should about your three fingers uh, height or the water depth is about your three fingers. And the other thing is uh, the first round of call, uh, call also a good opportunity for your water change. So I keep my water change. But remember, for this shallow water, only one air stone is not able to keep uh, your water quality constant. So you have to use this magic water, which is the green water. And you want to keep the green water, so green water can keep the ammonia level low. So what I'm going to do is, I, this is from an old tank, uh, the green water. I just dump it in uh, right over here, probably around the air stones, uh, for the next few days. And the whole crystal clear water is going to become the green water. And that's very good green water and shallow water depths can be good for your baby fries all right i hope you enjoyed the video today i know there are going to be a lot of questions please feel free to leave a comment below and also like my video if you like it and also don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel all right guys hope you enjoyed the video see you next time